Hello guys, it's Andre you and you know what time it is? The vlog time and gone. Hi, welcome back to the weekly devlog of Tadpool Tales, a 2D hand-drawn game where you are a tadpool that cleans rivers and fights pollution. Last week, we started working on the object pooling system. In case you forgot, it's basically an optimization pattern. This week, I want to tackle numerous things such as finishing the pooling system, implementing all the functionalities from the previous build, as well as starting to do a late night stream and hang out more with you guys. Hello? Hi, is this Seb? Uh, who is this? It's Andrew. Uh, I need your help. I want to learn how to stream. Like, I, I want to start doing dev streams late at night. So, you know, like, I, I wanted to like... Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I thought, could, could you like help me out on that? Like, cause I have no idea how to stream. So, you know, uh, and you have clearly a lot of ex Hello? Seb? I've discussed with Giacomo about the final boss and its movement patterns. So far, we are not doing any major changes. And I hope to stick to that. And that's all I did on Monday. On Tuesday, Giacomo started working on the bullet animation, of which I will hope to show soon. Then I started my first test stream on YouTube, and I was very thankful that many of you actually joined. And we had a laugh on finding the best stock images to put out as wallpaper. Oh man, there you go. Oh, that's better. What do you guys think? Is this good? I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it right now. I might change it for the next stream, you know? <laughs> and we also just talked about food that are from around the world. Oh, goulash. Oh, goulash. Gosh. Just smash me in the head with this food, please. I love it. One sec, I'm curing anxiety with Devlog11. <laughs> All right, you just go watch my Devlog11. <laughs> oh, it's nice. I mean, like, about four months ago when I started doing YouTube I was like I, I hope that I'll be able to make some friends on YouTube by doing this and I can see now that a lot of you guys are actually here watching and it's it's really wholesome guys thank you I'm really thankful of you guys that are sticking around I really appreciate it and after that I implemented the otter boss in the new build and that's all I did on Tuesday on Wednesday, I did a four hour stream where I implemented the final boss to the new build. It was a very chill evening. And after that stream, I also played some guitar with all of you guys. And I'd say that that was a pretty successful first stream. And uh, that's all I did on Wednesday. On Thursday, Esper did some rework on the music because we thought that the music was a bit too bombastic and it didn't quite fit with the theme of the game that much. So he had a rework on the song and it turns out Nice. Here's how it sounds. I haven't implemented an audio listener system yet but hopefully after implementing all the functionalities and prefabs in the new build, I shall be working on that right away. It's interesting that because we are now a four-man team and not a two-man team, the management actually doubled its size and it actually takes a lot more time to finalize ideas and uh, communicating with everyone, making sure that we're all going to the same direction. 
Having the Miller node on and updating it daily really helps a long way. So I think for any other game devs out there, it's very important to have a design documentation that all of you guys share and that are all up to date. And that's all I did on Thursday. On Friday, I didn't do anything because this Friday was my girlfriend's birthday. So I wanted to have a relaxing day and spend some time with her. But yeah, and uh, that's all I did this week. It doesn't feel like much, but thinking that I learned how to stream, doing a lot more community management lately, and that has been also taking a lot of my time. I think it is important to balance things out, but also keep the schedule tight. Persistence is very important. So even though if I'm honest, I wasn't really feeling like making this devlog, but I've got to make sure that I pump out consistent work as well as quality work. So I think that this week I didn't do too bad. I hope that the next week devlog will be more implementation rather than management, but I can't promise anything <laughs> since we're a four man team now. And uh, I feel like that I'm kind of the middleman that communicates with everyone and makes sure everyone goes to the right direction. Oh, Oh, and also another notice, I wanted to thank someone from our Discord who is also a YouTuber, Rob Lang. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Rob Lang is a very cool indie developer who goes in very much specific details of his game project. Clumber? Clumber? Clumper. <laughs> Great. Sorry. <laughs> And he helped me out with, uh, gave me some really good insights on how to use object pulling properly, as well as on how to use the analyzer. I think that's the word. Is this thing that checks your frames and the performance of your game in the Unity. Because sometimes when I load the game, it would lag. And I was scared that if I build the game the way it is now, it wouldn't be on optimal performance. So thank you again. It's very kind of you. And I'm very thankful to have such a lovely community. Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay safe and stay inside, be kind to each other. If you like the content that I create and wish to see more, please consider to subscribe. I wish you all safety and have a good day. Bye.